This is going to be a video on how to change the battery and set the settings on the Sigma ROX 9.0. This is a really nice bike computer except for there are a few things I don't like about it. The first thing I don't like about it is instead of a normal slotted thing that you could use a coin to open it like this Sigma bike computer, they have a little tool that goes into these two little dimples and you turn it like that. I always have trouble with this kind of stuff and I am going to pry it up with a tiny tiny screwdriver and remove the battery. Now the battery is not your standard 2032 it is a 2450 and it goes onto this like that and then you just screw this back down onto your bike computer using a little tool which, if you get this computer, you better figure out a plan so that you know how to find this tool every six months when you have to go replace this battery. Now I have to go set the wheel size for this bike computer and even though I have saved the box and the big manual that came with it, nowhere in this manual does it tell you what the, how to set the wheel size. There was a separate piece of paper with the wheel size which I have misplaced. So fortunately I have not misplaced this but I have misplaced the wheel size setting. I looked up the wheel sizes on the internet and the Sigma website does not have the wheel sizes for what I have. I have a 26 by 2.4 on one bike. I have a second mount for this computer on this bike and on this bike I have 26 by 1.95 tires. I created my own little calculator on my Berkshire Sports website. It has all the different wheel sizes and for 26 by 1.95 it is 2067 and for 26 by 2.4 it is 2137. So the main bike that this is this computer is going to be used on has a wheel size of 26 by 1.95. So I'm gonna set the wheel size one to 2067. So I am going to go into the settings on this thing. If you hit the upper right button, if you hit it twice quickly, you'll get into change mode where you could set the language to English, French. I'm hitting the lower right button or I'm gonna go back to English, change, and I'm gonna hit the left button and say save. Then the next thing I'm going to set is the clock so that I hit this upper right button and 24 hour mode is good. If I wanted to go to 12 hour mode I would hit the lower right button but since I don't I'm going to hit the lower left button and go back and I'm going to say done and then it says save so I saved it. And I'm going to go lower right button and set the date. Today is March 2nd. I'm going to hit the upper right button twice to get into change. This is 2014, so I am going to hit the lower right button until I get to 14, and then I'm going to click the upper left for done. The month is 3, so I hit the lower right button until I got to 3. Done. Upper left. Crap, I screwed up. I'm going to hit enter, change, 2014, done. Month of 3, done. Day 2, done. Format day month year. I want month day year month day year So I hit the lower right hit left upper left to save it So now I have three two fourteen next thing. I'm going to change volume is fine with three Zone alarms on that's for your heart rate monitor button info on I don't know what that is. It's just an on off thing my name Setting this up for somebody else. I'll go forward to the letter B hopefully uh, lowercase. Let me go back this way. I'm going to hold down the left button until I get back. B. Next is the upper right. The second letter I want to be E. A. E. Next letter I want to be a T. So I'm going to hit back. Next letter I want to be an H. Okay, so now we're in letters. So there's Beth 90. That's good enough. So I'm going to just hit save. Upper left. So that is saved. Now I have to get to the wheel sizes. So I'm gonna hit the upper left for back. And that was the wheels. Okay, so here's the wheel sizes for bicycle one and two. I'm gonna hit the upper right twice. Kilometers per hour or miles per hour I want. Whoops. I wanna hit enter, change. Over to the right for miles per hour. Hit left for save. 
Now I'm in miles per hour. I'm going to hit the lower right to get to wheel size 1. Wheel size 1 I'm going to set at 2, 0, next letter, 6, 7. Save. So wheel size 1 is 2067. Wheel size 2 is 2, whoops, crap, 2, go to the next, 1, next, 3, 1, 2, th there's 3, 7. Went too far. Seven. Save. So now I've set my wheel sizes. I'm going to go back. Home altitude. I'm going to hit enter. We're at about a thousand feet. So home altitude one I'm going to set to 1,000. So the first digit I'm going to set to one. The second digit I'm going to set to zero. Next. Next. Okay, so save. Home altitude 2. We're going to go to Brevard, North Carolina. And I'm going to set this one to 2. Whoops. Two. It's about 2,500 feet there. Next. Save. So I have home altitude 1 and 2 set. That's good enough. If I go to my mother's on Cape Cod, they're about 50 feet. So I'll change home altitude 3 to be 50 feet by going next, down to 0, next, and I will go up to 50 feet, next, save. So there I've set three, three home altitudes, which I can then instantly invoke. The next screen is something about the user. Change is female. Save. Birthday. I'm going to not show you, but it's the same method of changing it. And it's got weight, and I want to choose pounds. Save. And let's go down to maybe 120. Save. Heart rate, I think it is calculating based on in the zones. So I'm going to just take what they calculated. And so that was setting the user. Favorites, I'm not going to touch. That's what shows up on your screen. Favorites B is what's on your screen. Totals. You could set how many miles you have if you wanted to retain them from prior years, but I don't do that. So I'm going to just leave the totals alone. So now my computer is all set up to go. I am now going to replace the battery in the transmitter. So there is the transmitter. So this is pain in the ass to get to, so I am going to rotate this up and around. And again, you need this stupid little tool to undo this, and wow, I can't believe it, I fit my finger in there. So the seal is off, but this is a standard 2032 battery. Can't get it out of there. So I am going to use a very tiny screwdriver again to try to pop this out. It's not coming. Ah, uh, I don't know why they can't design something that's not so difficult. Okay, there we go. Got that out. Got to make sure this stays put. Here's a 2032 battery. I'm going to put that in there. And now I'm going to screw this back in. Would much rather have a coin type slot here. There we go. So I just spent quite a bit of time 
looking through the manual, I can't find this, but you can press on this button right here. And Elliot, there's an LED on the front here that will show up. If I push on this, this LED is red. Hopefully that shows up. If I go to the other bike, on this one, if I push in that little button there, it shows green. So that one, I think, is set to bike number one. And the one that shows red is set to bike number two. I also have a cadence meter, which also needs a new battery. So I'm going to put that in. I don't know if you can see this, but over on the left-hand side, there is a one. And that's for bike one. I'm going to take this move it over to bike two, give the wheel a spin, and hopefully that says bike two. Let's see, right now it is 515, so I'm going to set this to 1715, and say save. The reason it's important to set the clock is because this can upload to your computer, and I'll show you how to use this and upload to your computer in a different video. The only other thing you got to do if you want to use your heart rate monitor is you should replace this battery which again requires using this stupid thing and some more 2032s.